This is the next problem in the concept of integrating factors. See, for xy sine of xy plus cos of xy whole into y into dx plus xy sine of xy minus cos of xy x dy. So clearly here the given differential equation is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to zero. So first of all, we have to check that whether the given differential equation is exact or not. Here, first write the value of m. Here, m is equal to take this y2 inside and multiply every part with y. So, xy into y, xy square into sine of xy. Here, angle is in the form of xy. Okay, plus y into cos of xy. Okay, first calculate dou m by dou y. Knowledge of partial differentiation is very, very important to solve this type of mdx plus ndy is equal to zero equations. Here we are observing that except by remaining are all constant. That's why x is constant term. I will write outside of the derivative and uh, derivative of y square into sine of x y with respect to y. So clearly here we are going to apply uv root. Both are in product. That's why I will apply. You will see. Derivative of y square is 2y. 2y into sin of xy plus now y square is similar term. Derivative of sin of xy is cos of xy into derivative of the internal term xy with respect to y, which is x into 1. That's why you will get x only. I will write x here. Okay. In the second part also, you should apply UV root. Okay, because both the terms are in product and both the terms are have y variable. That's why. Now, uh, differentiation of y is 1, 1 into v, p. So, I will write cos of x1. Okay. And derivative of cos is negative. That's why I will write minus y into sine of xy into Differentiation of the internal term with respect to y is x into 1. That's why I will write x here. Now, this is nothing but 2xy sine of xy plus x into x, x square, y square into cos of xy. Okay, plus cos of xy. And uh, remaining terms are uh, remaining term is minus xy sine of x1. Okay. You may return 2xy sine xy minus xy sine xy as xy sine xy plus x square y square cos of xy. Plus the main term is cos of x. Okay. Now we have to write the value of n. Here, what is Kaplan coefficient of dy? Okay, which is here also we have x in the outside. Take this x2 inside and multiply every part with x. So you will get x square y sine of xy minus x into cos of x. Here we should find out do n by do x. Okay, the value of do n by do x and the value of do n by do y both are equal. Then we conclude that given differential equation is exact. In such cases, we can find the general solution directly. Okay, here except x remaining are all constants, so y is constant right outside of the derivative, and we should apply uv rule. We should apply uv rule here. X square is the first term, sine of x is the second term. Okay. Derivative of x square is 2x into sine of xy is the similar term mark plus now x square is the similar term and derivative of sine is cos of xy. Again, the internal derivative for angle xy with respect to x is y. I will I wrote here. Okay, I will write here. Okay. The derivative is completed for the first part. Now here also we should apply uv root minus derivative for 
1 derivative for x is 1 1 into v v cos of x plus minus because in the outside we have a negative sign x into derivative of cos is negative that's why you will get positive sine of xy into integral derivative for xy is y i wrote here okay so by separate the terms and by simplification the terms clearly we are observing that these both are unequal so we should conclude that do m by do y is not equal to do n by do a that's why given equation is given differentially equation is non-exact okay whenever we get the non-exact equation we can't write the general solution directly we should reduce it to exact by finding the integrating factor for getting the integrating factor we should observe the structure of the given equation clearly this is not a homogeneous equation but given equation clearly given differential equation is of the form it is in special form what is that form y into see here i have y here y into something dx so that something is function of x y okay that something must be in the form of function in the terms of x y into dx plus x into g of x y dy is equal to zero okay hence what is the integrating factor from the type to integrating factor is one by mx minus y so you should multiply the terms of m with x minus you should sub multiply the terms of n with y here one whole by what are the terms of m look at carefully here okay, these are the terms of m multiply with x already first term is x that's why x into x x square y square sine of xy plus xy cos of xy minus terms of n multiply terms of n with y now these are the terms of n already first term we have x square y we are multiplying with y now so you will get x square y square sine of xy sine of xy minus minus of minus plus because in the integrating formula in between them we have negative sign multiply this term also with y you will get x y cos of x y we are observing that this term this term getting cancelled we have x y cos of x y plus x y cos of x y in that term. it would be 1 by 2 x y cos of x y okay this is the integrating factor of the given differential equation now we should multiply the given equation with the equation number one means I, I didn't give any equation here multiply given differential equation with the above integrating factor on both sides so you will get another new differential equation that should be exact no doubt at all See. now given differential equation becomes to how given differential equation becomes to xy sine of x plus cos of x y fall into y this is the first part but we are multiplying with 1 by 2 x y cos x y so you should write 2 x y cos x y in the denominator into dx is there plus x y sine of x y minus cos of x y all by already x is there don't forget this x by 2xy cos of xy 
into dy is equal to zero. Okay, so clearly this this is exact. This is exact. Now no doubt at all. Okay, here you should write new term. Old terms are denoted with m, but new terms are denoted with m1. Okay, m1 and uh, n1. What are m1? Separate the terms. This term by this term. So x x getting cancelled, y y getting cancelled. Sign by cos. It would be tan of x y. And 2 is there. So 1 by 2 into tan x y is the first term. Oh, here 1 by is also getting cancelled here. So you will get x x cancel and you have another y in the numerator. You have y by 2 tan x y plus 1 by 2x into cos x y cos x y getting cancelled. Okay, this is the only m1. Now see n1. Here also 1x getting cancelled first. Okay, so y y getting cancelled. Sign by cos is nothing but tan. So you are getting x by 2 into tan xy minus cos cos getting cancelled. Remaining term is only 1 by 2. Okay, so these are the new terms. Now we have to write the general solution. The required general solution is the required general solution of the given differential equation is integral many times we saw this formula. For the general solution of an exact equation, okay, plus integral terms of n1, terms of n1 not containing x, terms of n1 not containing x, whole into dy is equal to c. Of t. See the solution. Replace the all values in this formula. Integral. What is m1? Write all terms of m1. Is y by 2 tan of xy. y by 2 tan of xy. Plus 1 by 2 a. Whole into d. Plus don't write all terms of m1. We should write terms of m1 which do not containing x. See this is the m1. So here x is in one. That's why don't take this first term. But in the second part, we do not have x. That's why you can take minus one by two. Don't forget negative sign. Into dy is equal to c. We are observing that y by two is the constant term. So please write outside of the integration y by two into what is the integration of tan? We know that log mod minus log mod cos otherwise log mod secant as you. Take it x y whole by we should write the coefficient of x. We are taking the integration with respect to x. That's why y is the constant. Please write y here plus 1 by 2 into log mod x minus 1 by 2 into log mod x is equal to I will take c by 2 instead of c. So all twos are getting cancelled. Here also we are observing that y y getting cancelled. So log m plus log n according to the formula log m plus log n uh, it becomes x a log of x into secant x y and you can take this uh, minus log y to this side i will take the uh, log c also 1 by 2 log so you will get log c y so x into secant x y x into secant x y is equal to this is the required general solution. Since all terms are have 1 by 2 and log is involved in every term, I will take here 1 by 2 into log c instead of okay. Since c is a parameter, you can take anything for c. Okay. This is the general solution of given differential. In this way, we can complete the problem. In the next video, I will give some more problems on the concept of integrating factors. Thank you.